Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and, in this video, we are going to discuss, what is a, computer memory. A computer system, is a digital electronic device, that can be programmed to perform, various operations, as per the user requirements. The computer system consists of, both hardware components, and, the software components. A computer system memory, is an essential component of, every computer system. Whenever, a computer program is to be executed, the operating system loads, the executable copy of the program software, and, its data, into the, computer's main memory. The microprocessor, then starts the program execution, by retrieving, and, executing these program instructions, one by one. Depending upon the computer system architecture, the computer system makes use of, different types of memories, in order to optimize, the system performance. We can also compare, the computer memory, with human memory. The functioning of computer memory, is similar to human memory, both in terms of its use, and purpose. The human brain, too has, both short-term, and, long-term memory, and, the information is stored, accordingly. A computer system, too has memory, where the data can be stored, and, retrieved, whenever required. A computer system, can execute any program, and, process the data, only when the program instructions, and, the data, is stored, into the, computer's main memory. When the computer system is powered on, the operating system, is the first system program, that gets loaded, into the computer memory. The computer user, can operate the computer system, only after, the operating system, is fully loaded, into the computer memory, and active. The computer memory, is an essential component of, every computer system. The computer system performance, also significantly depends upon, the size, and, the speed of the, computer memories, used in the computer system. The computer system makes use of, different types memories, depending upon the system architecture. These different types memories are organized, in a hierarchical order, in order to optimize, and, improve the system performance. The different types of memories used in a computer system includes, the disk memory, which is also commonly referred to as, hard disk, the main memory RAM. The main memory RAM is also referred as, random access memory. The disk memory, is also referred as, permanent memory, or, a secondary memory, because, it retains the data, when computer system of powered off. The RAM is considered as, the main system memory. This main memory RAM, is also referred as, primary memory, or, temporary memory, because, it does not retains the data, when computer system is powered off. The computer system memory hierarchy, also includes, some high speed memory, such as cache memory. The cache memory, is a high speed memory, placed between, the microprocessor CPU, and, the main system memory, RAM. The cache memory, is used by the central processing unit, to access, the frequently used data, and, the program instructions. Let us now understand how computer memory is organized. The CPU is the brain of the computer system. The CPU can understand, and execute, only machine code instructions, in binary. The binary code is represented, using, only two digits. That is 0, and, 1. And therefore, the computer memory is logically organized, in terms of, set of bits, called bytes. The computer main memory RAM, is composed of, number of bits. For example, a groups of 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. Each byte in computer memory, can be addressed, with its unique memory address number. And therefore, the byte in memory, is a smallest addressable, memory unit. You can learn more about memory organization, and, binary, in our video tutorial on, why computer use, binary number system. Let us now summarize, the computer memory is a vital component and a critical resource managed by the operating system. The computer system memory unit consists of, different types of memories, with different sizes, placed in a hierarchical order, as per the system architecture. 
That brings to the end of this tutorial on what is a computer memory. Please visit our website learncomputerscienceonline.com to learn computer science online. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with another computer science tutorial.